Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's Reaper tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how we can speed up the process of adding stretch markers to our files. Now, if you're like me and you do a lot of editing to bring in line any sort of discrepancies in timing and things like that, just to align everything to the grid, you're going to know that using the keyboard shortcut becomes a little bit time consuming and not the best way that you can work when adding these stretch markers. So what we're going to take a look at in this quick tip is how we can add a toolbar icon to our toolbar and how we can activate that by right clicking and then be able to use that to add in as many points as you want without having to keep on using keyboard shortcuts. So let's see how easy it is to do that. So the first thing we need to do is come up to our toolbar, right click and choose customize toolbar and that'll bring up the option to customize any of the toolbars we currently have. So all I'm going to do is come down to click on add That'll bring up our actions panel and I'm just going to quickly type in exactly what I'm looking for. Now we've got a couple of different options available to us. If I go back, you can see we've got add a stretch mark at the current position, at the mouse position or at the time selection. I want at mouse position. So what I'm going to do is click select and close. That'll add that into our custom toolbar. So you can see now on the very right hand side, we've now got this text icon. So all I'm going to do now is right click on that to bring up the ability to select any of the icons we have available to us. And I'm going to filter this one down to stretch. And you can see that brings up a pile of different options. So we're just going to simply come on to add. And I'm just going to close that down. And you can see we now have this new icon on our toolbar which is related to the add stretch marker at mouse position. So we'll just save that to make sure that's saved to our toolbar and then close it down. And then you can see now we have our new icon all ready for us to start using. Now, because we're using this toolbar shortcut, it operates slightly differently to a normal uh, on off switch. So in other words, if I click this with my left mouse button, absolutely nothing happens. That's because we have to actually arm this function and then we can keep on using it until we're ready to finish and then we can turn it back off. So what we do is we come up and right click instead of left click. That now switches it on, so that's armed. And now I can just click anywhere on my timeline. And every time I click, I put a stretch marker in wherever I want and right click again to disarm it. And now we can come back in and we can edit any of these stretch markers exactly like we would any other time. So this is a great way of working to speed up your entire process. If like me, you go through and you time align everything to the grid, then you wanna make sure that everything is quick and easy for you. So this shortcut, the ability to arm it and use it in any way fashion, then it just makes the whole process considerably quicker and easier. I hope you found this little tip useful. I hope it'll speed up the process of your time stretching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below. Give us a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos, hit the subscribe and be notified every time a new video is added to the channel. And if you've got any comments or feedback or suggestions for future videos, please pop those in the comment section below. We read everything you put on there and it does influence, on, influence us to make new video tutorials. Until next time, happy mixing.